I made songs for a month. There's something called BandLab, and you can make songs on it and stuff. And it's kind of like a social media app at the same time, as you can see. So many songs, oh, so crazy, and stuff like that. So, yeah, I made songs for a month on BandLab. So, first, I had to get started. And to get started, I had to create a new project. But first, plot twist, I got my boy Neon VR to help me and show me the ropes of the app first. So, go over to Neon VR and go subscribe to him. Because I don't think I would really know how to do anything if he wouldn't have helped me first. And honestly, though, the part that I did in that song was my worst part that I did in any of the songs that I made in the whole entire month. Neon VR did amazing in it, but I just didn't do it that good. Like, just listen to this. Streams all day. It's almost like I'm asthma to stay cool. Who knows if he streams all day? My girlfriend gotta be there because I don't even got no sleep. Can't do nothing because I'm in a riptide. I don't got enough brains to immortize, but I got enough to realize that I'm paralyzed. I'm not lying though, it hurts just to hear that every single time I hear it. But after Neon VR showed me the ropes of the app, I'm pretty sure I can make my own afterwards. And I did, and it was alright, I guess. It could have been better, but it could have been worse. And that song was Radiate the Galaxy. Radiate the Galaxy is my first actually good song. And I would count that more as my first song than Dreams to Reality. No offense, Neon VR. And yeah, it was a fun to make, and it was a good song. But after that, I made Flying Stars. Which is my most popular song, but it's not really my favorite. Because I use the Fall Guys background music as the song beat, which isn't the best idea because it doesn't really work for a good song. But the beat drop was crazy in it. You just gotta hear that beat drop though. And honestly, that song was my favorite song to make out of all of them. Just because of how stupid it was to make it because the Fall Guys beat was not the best. But yeah, that's my most popular song, Flying Stars. And now the fourth song that I made, Supernova. It was pretty fun to make because I freestyled the whole thing. So like made it without taking a single break. And that's my only song that I did that for. So I could speak French, I felt like putting French in it. And yes, I freestyled that too. And in case you're wondering, we oui, je peux parler français. And yeah, the song had so much potential and I kind of just lost it all with my freestyle. It really didn't work out that well. And the beat was really good too. But yeah, that was Supernova. And now for the fifth one that I made, Girl Alive. Which honestly was my favorite one that I made out of all of the songs. Other than my verses on it, which were not the best. But I'd say it's worth the hour that it took. And honestly, the beat just carried the whole entire thing almost. And we can't just ignore the chorus. That was the best thing ever. That was honestly the best part of the whole song without a chance. And yeah, that was your live. And now for the fifth one, Show in Love. Honestly, I just got inspired from that song because on your live, LeVar commented Show Love. So I got inspired to make a song called Show in Love all about showing love. And yeah, honestly though, my accent changed like three times in that whole entire song. I don't know why my accent changed, but my voice just felt like changing the accent every 10 seconds. But yeah, that song had a really good message in it, and I think that it's the best message out of all of the songs. And yeah, that's showing love. Now for the seventh, Flying McLaren. And honestly though, I was on a call with Neon VR, and he told me to do a song with these three words. McLaren, Rice, and Jordans. So you know what I had to do. Make a song with the words Rice, Jordans, and McLaren. And also, when I posted it, somebody told me to take it down, and I don't know why. So if you're watching this video, please tell me why in the comments. And I might take it down if it's a really good reason. But also, Fly McLaren's my third most popular song out of all of my songs. And I don't think it was that fun to make, but I mean, it worked out in the end but yeah that's fly mclaren and now for the eighth on the list can't see and this song's actually a diss track on four people and yeah it worked out and it was also really fun to make and that's one of the two diss tracks i had in the whole album of course i have to do a shout out to little neon on almost all of my songs and if you didn't get it yet little neon is neon vr but yeah that was can't see and now for the next one Rise Up. And this one's a collab of two people, Lil Neon and Dry Quiz. 
And honestly, we all did good in that song. And my favorite part about the song is at the end when I mixed my voice with Lil Neon's voice and it sounds so good. And all together, this song's one of my favorite songs. So yeah, that was Rise Up. And for the 10th song is Gotta Grow. And honestly, I should have made a Lorax reference in this song cause it's called Gotta Grow. But this song was also pretty fun to make. And the beat was good and it just sounds good all together. But yeah, that was Gotta Grow. Now for my next song is Problems, which is also the other diss track in the album. And this one worked out when I did it, so this is a good song. And again, my voice sounds good in this song. And the beat's also really good. So it's also just an all-out good song. But now for the next song, Greater Purpose. And this song is about having a greater purpose. Which is also why it's called Greater Purpose. This is also one of my favorite songs in the whole album. And it's also just really fun to make. Which is the same as every single song in this whole entire album. And Greater Purpose is just a song that you should probably just listen to. And yeah, that's Greater Purpose. And next on the album, I got The Only King. Which is also one of my favorite favorite songs on the album too and it was one of my favorite songs to make and it just a really good beat too and yeah that's the only king and for the last one on the album galaxy of love and galaxy of love is just all about love and it was really fun to make you should probably go listen to it and you didn't hear it from me but there's gonna be a part two to it so just watch out for when that comes out and that Galaxy of Love was also one of my favorite songs that I've made. And yeah, that was Galaxy of Love. And that was all 14 songs that I made on the album. But that's not it. Because I am making an album every single month for a whole year. Or at least I'm gonna try. Because I want to see how popular I'll get on BandLab after a year of being on the app. And I'll be trying to make... A album every single month just to get more attention and more songs on the app and i already have more subscribers on the app than i do on youtube right now so that's pretty crazy and i'll put my band lab link in the description and yeah that was my experience of the first month on band lab and i'll be posting updates every single month of the albums and the progress that i make on band lab and I'm actually going to post those as shorts, so watch out for those when they come out. And yeah, that was my experience of the first month on BandLab. Bye-bye.